Hello everyone, my name is Agent M. Welcome to another update video for my Excavators and Hammers data pack. In this version, I update the pack to 1.21, as you can see in the top left. And there is some new blocks that were added and now we can actually just um, destroy them. In creative mode, we always could have destroyed them, but in survival mode, we can do it too now, as you can see. For these blocks, uh, there is some special behavior because these require the function options to be run and this uh, utility blocks breaking enabled. So you can just break utility blocks in that case, which also includes the heavy cores and the auto crafters and also doors. And trap doors. Furthermore, um, I fixed a bug, sort of, it's really hard to fix, where a mob walks around and you kill it with a tool and sometimes it would just accidentally like break the blocks like that. Um, that has been fixed as far as I can tell. The only time it will still potentially cause a problem is if you're running multiplayer and someone in the world kills, and is, kills a mob at the same time as you um, try to break some blocks. Um, but this is very difficult to fix, unfortunately. The problem is that we cannot um, change the order in which advancements trigger. So the advancement that checks the mobs being killed is getting run before the ones for the tools being checked. And this will make it so it's not possible to detect this properly. But hopefully Mojang will add something in the future that we can detect this. As you can tell, I'm quite tired trying to fix all the problems, all the bugs. There is another bug that I cannot uh, really fix and that is regarding the update up upgrading of the diamond hammers to netherite hammers. As you can see, this one has 10 attack damage, this one has 9. This one is given through commands. And this one um, is upgraded through a smithing table. And you can see the name is also not changed from diamond hammer to netherite hammer. And the only way to fix that is to use the, don't use the crafting recipe. And I cannot remove the crafting recipe because this is hanging together with the diamond pickaxe upgrade recipe. So yeah, there is quite some limitations that um, I do not feel like fixing because it would take forever to fix and it's just a hobby project. Um, so hopefully Mojang will add some better ways to detect the input ingredient here so I can add the correct data to it. Otherwise I'll have to create, the, yeah, create a custom recipe that just you throw the weapon on it and it gets upgraded that way. Um, I think I might do that before I upload this, um, which means you shouldn't upgrade it through the through the smithing table UI anymore. And that should at least temporarily fix that problem as well. Further, of course, um, every time there is new blocks added by Mojang, I will have to go and update the pack because there is no way to detect blocks being broken with uh, with an advancement yet, and there is no way to store the block ID in a score or MBT data or component or anything. So I have to check every single block and drop the exact same block and also um, show the correct particles for that block manually. So yeah, if anyone on, on Mojang sees this, those are the few things that make this pack really difficult to maintain. Of course, um, yeah, there's a lot of awesome features already um, but unfortunately, I, this is the state of the, the pack as it is. And it makes me very, um, it makes it very difficult for me to maintain this pack. Anyway, I hope despite all these little shortcomings, um, you still enjoyed the pack as well as um, let me know if any other bugs or problems you have with the pack. And if I, it's within my possibilities to fix the pack, I will of course try. And otherwise, it's just hoping that newer versions of Minecraft have slightly better abilities. Anyway, 
Um, that's about it. There's one more thing that is regarding the, the hammers. You can see they have slightly lower attack damage. I lowered the attack damage from what it used to be. As it used to be, I think, like six points higher on average. Like the stone hammer, it's 13 attack damage. But the new stone hammers, they, um, they don't have um, just that. So let's see if I remember the crafting recipe for this stone hammer. I don't think I remember the crafting recipe of the stone hammer. I think it was like this, or it might have been like this, but I do not have the stone for that. So let's just smelt some stone, I guess. Works great. Let me smelt some stone up. And then we can hopefully craft our hammer. There we go. And okay. And as you can see, the stone hammer has a little bit less attack damage. Also, it's very strange why. Um, ah, there's the hammer. Stone hammer, wooden hammer at least. Why does why the stone hammer one did not show up? No, it of course does. But also the one for the excavator doesn't seem to show up. So I'll have to see if I have to fix this one. So that the recipe actually shows up in your recipe book. Anyway, that is all for this update video. It's a little bit of a, a mess, but I I hope I can keep maintaining this pack or if uh, maybe I'll have to completely rewrite it from scratch and maybe if I have time. Um, I will also try to incorporate the tree feller and uh, the bigger hose but maybe I will also not update it anymore. Um, could be that this is the last update. Could be that I'm gonna keep updating it. Only the future can tell and depends a bit on how the data pack tools develop and if I'm able to um, more easily yeah, maintain the pack because it stands Mojang changed a bunch of things and having to go through all the files again and trying to fix all the little things is just too time consuming anyway I'm just gonna walk off into the sunset so that's it time to sunset time and I'll drown myself because what's 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 the best way to end the video right <laughs>